report that we submit to the state. And I guess the highlights of that report would be page five. I know you guys all have handouts. Um, the sewer budget and the water budget combined to 736,527. Uh, the budget committee um, reviews this and they recommended it at 736,527. So the budget committee um, reviewed it and signed off. That's what the first page is of the report, all the budget committee signing off. There are going to be I guess the best, the best way to look at this, I don't want to take all night, is to go to page, page 10. The first line, and the, the commissioners and the, and the budget committee both agreed, so I'm, I'm just going to go with the first. Uh, first line, we've got 736,527. Those are the two budgets added together. Uh, the three individual warrant articles that we're going to be voting on tonight uh, represent a total of $97,000. However, $50,000 for sewer related items come from fund balance, which will have no impact to your um, uh, rates. Uh, you go to the very bottom, you'll see estimated amount of taxes to be raised. The $47,000 are two warrant articles uh, that, do, that, that are part of the rates. Um, and we've brought um, engineering support here in the Department of Environmental Safety here to answer any questions that you have about that part of the budget. I'm not sure if this is the right time to discuss that, or do we have to wait for questions from the crowd? So does anyone in the crowd have questions about water? I guess we, we will look at first. I, I guess that's probably going to be a most controversial issue, that $47,000 that we'll be voting on. Um, so I don't know if anyone would like to hear from the state or from the engineering that have helped us to come up with what we need to do. So that's the MS 737. Any other questions? I have a question in regard, I'm just looking over and, and let me know if I'm out of line, I'd appreciate that. But I was just looking at the uh, payroll and the increase for the superintendent to 100000 and he was budgeted for, you know, 79000 and he's already been paid 98000 So, and then I see a lot of them, a lot of increases. Is that why we're also having a water increase? Or a payroll? Well, if you look at, that's a good question. That's a huge, that's a huge to me, that's a huge yes. amount. Excuse me. I could Could this be discussed yes. when we're doing the actual budget? Thank you. Budget review? Thank you. This, this is just report, just one time. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I will do it then. Okay. So we won't answer this question at this point? Well, that's the question. She just asked the question. Yeah. I'm, I'm that's okay. part of the operating budget, which is coming up next. Okay, fine. Thank you. That's all I need. Hold that thought. Oh, oh I, I will. will. <laughs> so we'll address that with the operating budget. I think I, I think I've mentioned that $102.67 is a is a sheet that we passed out water and sewer rates in the surrounding towns. I think we've um, discussed that, and it looks like we're in, we're very close to the statewide average. 
Um, if we look at surrounding areas, um, Summersworth is less than us, Rochester is less than us, Newmarket, Portsmouth, Dover are more than us. Um, our rates have been very low well compared to the state average. Um, they were closer to the 25 percentile, but this puts us a little over 50 percentile. But there's a lot of things that really should be done. Um, We have a page here, proposed budget, 2019. A couple of things we did that were different with the budget. Uh, in the past, uh, the capital improvements used to be part of the budget. And now they're presented as separate warrant articles. They were kind of hidden in the budget. So we're trying to allow for full transparency in capital improvements spending so you folks can decide whether or not you do the projects that we feel need to be done. Um, the budget committee reviewed that and thought that, that, that those items were important to be done. Um, our staffing has changed significantly. Now we're adhering to DES recommendations um, with our current workforce. We're staffed properly. We're not um, understaffed as we have been. Uh, we're looking at, proactively looking at the plant, not reacting to when things break. I mean, we have a sewer um, bond and we have a sewer plant that lasts about, expected to last about 20 years. We're at year 15, but yet we haven't been doing much maintenance. Um, So through working with engineering and state, we've identified the tools that we need to be consistently in compliance. So you're not getting those letters saying, hey, your lead is, your lead level was high, or this level was high, or that level was high. Um, the proposed budget takes care of these things. So what does the rate change mean? We went from 2009, when we were paying $68, to 2018, when we went up to $83. That was like a 20%, close to a 20% increase. This past quarter, with the changes that we had to make so that we were in compliance, we, we gave a little bump to, the, to, the, to both the water and the sewer rates. Um, that was a $10 bump to the water, and the sewer had a $15 bump. Unfortunately, to, to do what we believe we need to do here, um, the total is $45 per quarter in water, and it's $50 per quarter in sewer. But again, that combined number puts us at just over the 50 percentile for water and sewer customers in the state. I don't think I have any more information until we get to budget questions or more out of the questions that you get. Thank you. The next item is Article 3, which is the operating budget. Now, a little bit i got to explain. Some of you, you may have seen in the, uh, in the annual report for the town, this budget. This is a working budget. This is not an official budget. Actually, that's not even a budget. It's a list of expenses. That's just your income. What was going on? Well, it's not what we vote on. I understand. But there's this RSA that says you will put everything in the town report, including income, that's not there for people to review. Okay. Deep breath. 
What we're going to work on is this document here, which is called the MS-737. Because as far as DRA is concerned, when they set municipal budgets, this is nice and it's OK to work with, but it's not official as far as they're concerned. This is the official budget. All right? Now, according to DRA, I can get to the right page here. You can't micro-budget at the annual meeting. You're only allowed to consider, in this case, there's three categories. And you may amend, you may accept them, amend them, or deny them. But I don't think you ought to deny them. They are general government, sanitation, which is wastewater, and water distribution. There's three categories. You can't go in and say, I want you to spend less money on paper clips, but I want you to spend more money on chemicals. You don't get that choice. You've got to go to the bottom line and decide what you want to do with that. That, in turn, goes to the grand total of the budget, and that's what you pass. Is that clear enough? I, it can be complicated. All right. zero out a section of the budget. I gladly, from a personal perspective, and as personally mine alone, please ask you not to do that, because then we run into the concept of no means no. So if you zero out a particular line item, we cannot move money into that account to cover that expense. That expense function is now effectively banned. So. That being the case, and since you now all have the MS-737, are there any questions regarding the MS-737, known as the operating budget portion? Yes, Bob? Uh, if the government government uh, how was the increase from the 1900 to 2018? To 18, 18, What line? Uh, 4194. Uh, yeah, general government is in administration. Page 2 of the MS-737. 4194, general government buildings.
two items. Uh, the floor in the plant um, is coming up, in the, especially in the, um, in the laboratory. So there's money there to repair that. There's money there. Um, the, the far, I, I don't know if you're familiar with our plant, but we're looking at the office area, back corner of the office. Um, the back of the siding, it's all rotted and whatnot. So we're looking at different ways uh, to repair that. Um, that's the worst case, but we're not sure what we're going to get into when we get into it. Um, we've had one estimate, and we typically will get three. Uh, but that, that's what's going on there. So we're looking at the building from the driveway, the left side, um, the back of the siding, the room is all wide, um, under the siding. So we've got some underlying structural problems there. In the lab, if I may follow up on that. It, was that put up to a general bid? That was put up to one general contractor, and we, we have two more that we want to go with. We typically go with three. We didn't post that as a, like in the paper, you see so many other towns around who post such and such for needed for a proposal to do we try We try to use um, contractors that. We try to use contractors from the general area, but we, you know, I, we didn't post it. You mentioned the tile, but in the book of the town, you put down add, uh, add office space. So what could happen there is when we repair that, we have a perfect foundation to be able to put in a couple more feet in our office. We're very crowded. Um, we're doing a lot more than we used to do because of the requirements. Um, and, you know, it's, the building is old. There's not a lot of space. I built it. I built when it was built. So the foundation is there, the structure is there, and in repairing it, we potentially could, for a couple thousand dollar difference, probably bang that out and get a little bit more space. Well, the building actually fits the foundation of CNL. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the foundation is referring to. It's extra. There's a, there's like a shed, there's a shed there that's all rotting. That's the problem. The shed area is the far left of the building. We'll, we'll, we'll show you in the... Rather than have the back and forth, can you direct it sort of in the front? Yeah, I apologize, Mr. Moderator. Yeah. Mr. St. Hilaire. Uh, John St. Hilaire. Uh, when Mary first came in, we were thinking, uh, we had plans to put a shower in the capital room. Where those buildings are down there. Are those buildings running now? A shower? Yeah, a shower in that. What, what's going on? You know, we were talking about a shower, the moving, the the shower that moving, by having a washing machine drive over the main So we haven't, we have not finish that, and the reason we haven't finished that, yes, we've got some chemicals separated, yes, we've got the buildings up, because we have two chemicals that should not never have been together, but the, the problem that we ran into was we didn't have enough in, in, the, um, in the conduit that was going between the building and where the equipment, the apparatus were, we didn't have enough wire to be able to do that. So in the maintenance budget, we've got someone cutting up that in, in bringing in the maintenance person. And I think you'll see in the budget, there's about $20,000 that wasn't in the earlier budget for maintenance. And those are the things that weren't being done. Using the maintenance guy, the part of the maintenance budget, we're going to do a lot of, well, we we're planning to do a lot of in-house things, like cut up the pavement, increase the capability of the electronics that comes and goes from those storage areas. The sampler has been brought in inside and having less troubles with that now. Because that sampler was, as you know, on the elements and covered with just plastic and what that or hard plastic. So that's now so that's all moving forward, but you know it's not flying forward but it's moving forward. Well you don't have room for you have no, we're getting into an exchange. Right. That's really not how it's supposed to work out. Are there any other questions regarding the MS 737 in this category? 
No more questions. Shall we move forward to the next category? Mr. Megan. Sir, we still on the operating budget. On the operating budget in the subcategory of general government. If you have more questions, yes. I'd like to make a motion to reduce the general government. The motion has been made to reduce general government subtotal currently at 102.756 by $30,000. Is there a second to the motion? Mr. Shorey. Motion has been made and seconded to reduce general government subtotal by $30,000. Are you ready for the vote? Order. Yes? I'm sorry, your name? Drive. Okay. We make a motion. Seven what? Woodland Drive. You're not in the district, are you? Yes, I am. I have water. Okay. Sorry. I do pay right. my bills. Okay. And I am a I am a water operator in the city of Dover. When you make a motion, you have to open it up to the floor for discussion. Because I would like to know what thirty thousand dollars is going to do to the operating budget and handicap the water district. You have to open up to the floor for discussion. Okay, please. You've started the discussion. Are there any other questions, comments, concerns? I'd like to know what are the costs? I mean, what would happen to a $30,000 reduction in the budget? What would they have to cut as a ballpark? What would have happened? At this point, it would have to come from some other line item in the budget. Because the commissioners have the same authority as selectmen, they can move things around within their operating budget. They can even take it from what is called surplus, not profit. We don't say profit in government. Is there anything, any other questions? Comments? Yes? Aaron Cavanaugh? Please. Woodland Drive. Yeah. Yes, I'm in the district. Um, I wonder if you could hear from the gentleman who made the motion uh, where the 30000 comes from to see uh, why you have to that reduction. Any questions? Yes. Fairly simple. If you look at the amount that's gone up, it's made some rather substantial jumps. Uh, 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 um, so the question was, why did I get 30,000? Pick 30,000 because the amount that, that has grown in that sector seems to be more put into that than some of the other things, such as the placements he was talking about. And again, by moving that money and reducing that, that's what you know, just looking at. I've got four different sheets, and I'm quite sure but some of these are exactly what the numbers are because the conflict with both of them are that today. Are there any other questions or comments on this matter? There is a motion on the floor to amend this section by $30,000. Not seeing any more reaction from the crowd, we will call for a vote. Those in favor of a motion to reduce this particular area of the budget by $30,000, please hold up your voting cards. Those that are in favor. Can I have my tellers again, please? I know, I know.
You have a number? Four. You have a number? Huh? Ten. The motion is read to 24 to 14. Are there any other comments in the area of general government? Questions? Concerns? Problems? Okay. The next area that you can consider is sanitation. Are there any comments, questions? Me again. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. an answer. Then, thank you for coming. I'll get it right. Uh, I disagree with a lot of the budget that's out there. I have a work with the treatment plant for a number of years. It's been involved in some major projects. I can't, I can't hear you. I have been working with the treatment plant for a number of years and, and some major projects here in town. And the way the budget is presented, I want to cut this budget down by this uh, sanitation by $50,000. That's a motion. That's a motion. We'll do it to change 50,000. I hope to have a better handle of what we're doing and what we're doing right now. Is there a second to that motion? Could you repeat the motion, please? The motion is to reduce the line item subtotal of sanitation by $50,000. Yeah. Is there a second to Mr. Michaud's? Mr. Megan seconds. Discussions, questions, open the floor. Yes. How is that going to affect that budget? Who are you? Larry Locke in Podridge Lane. Thank you. No, no, what's your comment? Who, me? No. no. How is that going to affect this budget? Well, it would reduce the operating budget by $50,000 in addition to the $30,000 that's already been voted on. Stand up, please. I cannot. Julie, Julie, could you be a dear? general administration at this point. Oh, in this category, you mean? Oh. Oh, you're talking about administration in sanitation. Yes. She's focusing in on the administration line 4321 of administration, which went from uh, okay. the appropriation was 103,000, it's now 120,000. Is that what you're talking about? Julie? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You can imagine what kind of a teacher I would be. <laughs> Can you explain why it went from 103 to 120,000 in administration sanitation? Um, the plan has to run. 
And think about the think about how you're going to get good water. It's that Goslin woman again. Right. You're all set now? Yes. Okay. Are there any other questions? Comments? He's open to the floor. Go ahead. Caroline Kendall, Silver Lane. Um, so, so far as the voting has gone, the water sewer district is down $30,000. And if we continue to cut that, where we have not, we've chosen as a body not to hear from the state and what they might have to say of the changes the district's made, nor have we heard from the engineers about the infrastructure needs and the other things going on in the district. I'm concerned about not only my water quality, but also the infrastructure, which you can pay me now or pay me later, we're going to have to repair and maintain. Things get more expensive with time, but also the fact that all the wastewater eventually goes into the river. Um, and we all live in that river, you know, with this river. We all live on this earth together, and I'm concerned about the repercussions of all that. Also, from the town side, we're called with an MS4 community, which means that our stormwater is regulated because our river is already impaired. That has costly implications which are going to grow over time on the town side. And I feel as though a $50,000 cut, not knowing how that might, what the implications for that might be specifically with the district, I'm concerned about what that might mean for the river, um, for the water quality, and for regulation on the town side as well. At least I can hear her, Julie. Thank you. Yes. that would come in, be hired. Um, the, they, they weren't taking the job, I guess, I guess what I want to say is they weren't taking the job really seriously, or maybe the um, commissioners weren't directing them well enough. Um, so they had jobs during the day where they could do a landscaping, or they were only working a couple of days, or whatever. If we want to go back to that, that's great, but I don't know how you're going to cut all this money from the budget and get quality people to work. Um, you've had a revolving door. You've had people coming and going. Um, I think it's ridiculous that the state and the, uh, the Department of Environmental Services, the engineering, they're not able to give you some information. I feel like no one cares how the plant gets to where they have to get. They just care what it costs. And, you know, again, we were at the 25, 30 percentile, and now we're going to the 50 percentile. That's normal for, that's the norm for doing business in the state. And I just feel, I feel sad that, you know, I put so much time into trying to get us to where we should be, and no one seems to care. They just care about their wallet. Thank you. Thing. On this thing right here. 
because I want to know if, the, if we remove the 50000 from the budget, how is it going to harm our town water-wise? We like don't know that it's going to harm. But can we have this is sanitation, explain? by the way. This I know, is sanitation, right. Can we hear from them this, so we know what, what could happen? Since they are not members of the district, they are not free to speak. It requires a vote of the body to give grant permission. Therefore, well, Clem and then we've got to deal with this parliamentary procedure issue. Speak, please. One of the reasons why I did what I did is because we used to meet the people in the budget that are higher than the norm for some of the people in this town. We have police people in town, cop timers. How much money are you putting it in for cop timers in this town? They don't get paid as much as we drive on the van. As far as the superintendent goes, we'll have some of us going to go over to a very small town. We've got a small plant that's fairly decently designed, easy to operate. It's a maintenance schedule you have to maintain and keep up with your stuff and see what's going on in there. Then try to keep up with the updates that the city has to give you. I can't see putting out the money for salaries and stuff that you've included in the budget that's going to be higher than anybody else in this town. Police think we've got a big area, more responsibility. All police think they've got to do that in the same group. There's some difference. There's, there's, you know, they're making us a retirement murder for, for somebody to come I mean, in one day with a nice easy job in a small, small town for them. You can do that someplace else. Yes. Has there been a comparison of salary from other towns in the area compared to the salary that's being paid here? Are you compared to salary from other towns in the area? Can I speak? I'll come over the side, please. Coming up with a superintendent that could rub walls and loans for water and sewer was difficult. Um, in studying other towns, we ran into situations where a commissioner happened to possess licensing and was able to offset um, some of the costs. We, they had commissioners that were donating their time in smaller towns. Um, we, we studied larger areas, smaller areas. We went up as north as Colbert, New Hampshire. Um, did, a lot, did a lot of study there. And what I've got to say is the commissioners at the time that hired the new superintendent unanimous, 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 all together hired them. I can't say that word. Uh, and we've been so grateful for what he's been able to do. Uh, other, other areas, we do have a relatively complicated water system. Water is different than sewage. Right, but we only got one guy. I did, we've only got one guy to do that. So what what have we done? Well, yeah, normally you pay it at, you know in a, in a low lower rate place seventy five thousand dollars for a water operator. You pay another seventy five thousand uh, superintendent rather. You pay another seventy five thousand dollars for a, um, a sewer superintendent. So you're at one hundred and fifty. Then you've got benefits. Then you've got. Um, well, you've got pension, but then um, sometimes you have medical, maybe for both. So to say that that $100,000 salary is ridiculous, it's less money than, than if we were to go get two different folks to do that job. Now, over and above that, that superintendent possesses a, a master electrician's license, and, he's, and we've done pretty much two upgrades in two different areas of the facility that would have cost us way more money. So, you know, we, we've got somebody that's really dedicated, really wants to be there long term. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know what to say other than get involved, come to meetings, and see what's really going on. Um, to, that's it, just, just come to the meetings. The meetings are open to the public, and then you'll see what's really going on and what, and what they're really up against. Um, that's it. Yes, Sally. Now say your name and bring it in. Sally Leopold, 426 Washington Street. I have a question. There's discussion about removing $50,000 from the budget. I'm sorry, I can't relate. But, is there enough money in this budget to cover any fines or fees that would come back from the state or federal government if we 
were to um, have an incident where we would have to pay for treatment of something, or, or if we fell in violation of something, would our current budget cover that? I'm sorry if this word is Well, technically, yes. But the objective is to run the situation so you don't run into fines. Now, I would re let me tell you about what happened a number of years ago when I was a commissioner. And that is, we had a problem meeting the effluent discharge requirements for the plant. The, the, uh, the feds, I believe it was at the time, said, here's the deal. We won't fine you if you put a certain amount of money into system improvements. And we did. We bonded and we built it. And we didn't pay a fine, but we did improve the plant. OK? So that's usually how it's done. Is there any reason why the, the state can't answer that question? May I make a motion to allow the state to speak? Second. Third, fourth, fifth. We have, unfortunately, we have a motion on the floor. So unless the maker of the motion withdraws the motion, we have to proceed with motion that's already on the floor. Do you withdraw your motion? can ask again from us. Why not? The maker of the motion was Fraz's motion. There are now no motions on the floor. There is a motion. Re repeating your motion, you wish to have the state representative speak. Hello? I'll make that motion. Celia Leopold will make the motion. Okay, and you need a second. Second. Seconded? Okay. Who's going to speak from the state? I'd like to vote. Cynthia for the Department of Environmental Safety to speak. I think environmental services. Yes. You need to vote? Yes. Yeah. need to vote? Yeah. 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 Y
I can't speak. I can't speak about wastewater. I'm not a wastewater. Uh, okay, that's actually part of your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we don't have a representative from the state for the wastewater. So. It would be about the budget. We have an engineer here that can speak about the wastewater. We don't have someone in the state. That's where it's at. Chris, where are you? Right. 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 I'll ask the consensus of the body. Can we go to uh, the engineer from Wright Pierce, Pierce Wright, who is the engineer who can speak on wastewater issues. Is there any objection? No. Why don't you come on forward? Grab the mic. Hi, my name is Chris Berg, Wright Pierce Engineers. Um, so uh, the, the question on the floor is, is how does uh, $50,000 of uh, $50,000 reduction uh, impact budget. Um, on the administration side, I uh, believe uh, those costs are related to both um, the addition of the op uh, additional operator, correct? So beyond uh, the superintendent, there's also an additional operator. The district's uh, hired uh, and, uh, an additional part-time operator beyond the mechanic. So there's been increased staff to do those additional maintenance items that Right, haven't necessarily been happening over the last uh, number of years. So in order to get into compliance with uh, both current and hopefully future uh, regulations, uh, as well you know, those with those administrative costs are, are coming forward. I believe, uh, Frank, is the, the line of the last line item, the other sanitation? What are the costs? But <coughs> unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, this MS737 doesn't go into much detail, but we break it down so I, way better. Yep. In the, in the I, I believe so, some of those costs, those additional costs are associated with upgrades or maintenance items as a facility. Correct? They are. And, and, and I think um, we could actually help you. Um, I don't know if Lewis has been involved with that project. No. Right. No. Okay. Uh, no. Not the asset management. So right here is well, uh, actively engaged in an asset management uh, plan development for the water system in particular. Um, we haven't been doing one for the, the sewer system. That's not under our current scope. But it would be something that I, I highly recommend the, uh, the district to move forward with in the future. But the, uh, those costs associated with um, that additional increase, uh, I believe, we're all related to the maintenance of the and at the cost station. Anybody else? Yes, Bob. Just a question, if I can ask. Um, are we currently in compliance with the sewage as it's in the state? I don't believe there are any active violations. Um, there are items that are of concern for future compliance uh, at, the, at the treatment facility, but uh, there are no active violations that I'm uh, not aware of um, from the state. Your going rate for the communities you do serve for wastewater? Uh, 
this size district that would be somewhere, depending on what actual scope that would be, would be in the twenty to forty thousand dollar range, very in, in, in line with what the current uh, water asset manager so scope the, was. Is that budgeted by the commissioners? Uh, including them as a consultant on lake water. Right now they're saying they only do drink. Are the engineering services part of the budget? Yes. For waste yes. water, not yes. just for drinking water. No. 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 On the wastewater, we've got something coming down the line. Uh, where we are, we, can I ask um, the superintendent to speak to explain what we got coming down the line? Don't you know? Don't you know? But the question is, do you know? He can explain it better. He just went to a meeting a week ago, and there is something coming down the line that we have to deal with. We haven't had a meeting since we went to that meeting. So I think the superintendent would probably explain better if, the, if that's allowed. Again, sense of the body. Any objections? Okay, the superintendent can speak regarding anything that's pending for wasteful. Yes, yeah, so look for <coughs> Ray McNeil. So then, uh, Sir. Ray McNeil, superintendent for the Water Sewer District. Uh, what Frank referred to is uh, the new proposed budget that's coming down the pipeline for the sewer. Uh, we're operating on an expired uh, discharge permit. And with those upgrades that are going to be required to potentially meet the new permitted uh, discharge permit, uh, we don't know exactly what they are. Cars have not been put on the table, but we are anticipating the handle nitrogen removal, which has been a costly. Use uh, the mic, we're going to put. Yeah. We're going to be anticipating using, uh, needing to remove nitrogen, uh, which has proven to be a costly endeavor for a lot of communities in the area. We currently do not have a nitrogen limit, um, and we don't know what it's going to go to, um, but I believe that's what Frank is referring to. So on top of everything else that we're talking about today, um, there is some other concerns with the, um, the new permit coming our way. And as you identified in the past, when new permits come, we're then forced up rates to be able to handle the, uh, uh, the funding that we need, would need to take out to be able to handle that. So I hope that answers the question. Just to clarify, the permit requirements for wastewater treatment are not yet firm, finalized. They're still in draft status. Is that correct? They're in draft status? They're not even in draft status. How long has it been since we've had a discharge permit? How long? 14 years. 14 years. OK. Celia. How long is the discharge permit usually good for? Since the subject is um, potential violations, um, the clarifier, uh, which is not in this year, 2019's budget, is in 2020's radar. 
because we've been trying to put together a, a five-year plan and we've, we've worked with engineering to do so, um, but haven't been able to discuss those issues at this meeting thus far. Um, the clarifier, we're supposed to have a backup clarifier, and, we, and this is wastewater, and we haven't had a functioning backup clarifier in 14 years. So that's in our budget, in our radar. I didn't realize that this was even an issue. And after some discussions um, and research, we found out that we don't have a functioning backup clarifier. So that is a potential uh, for violation. What we used to call blowing solids. <laughs> All right, is there any other discussion in this area? Okay, there's no other discussion, there's no other motions. Are you ready to restate your motion? Yes, I would like to restate my motion to reduce the $50,000. I feel that you can do it with the money that you have, and cut down the road that you can. Essentially, he says a $50,000 amendment to reduce this particular section of the budget. That's our second to your motion. Is there a second? Thank you. Claire Netto, I believe your yes, name is, is. yes. Um, okay. I think we've discussed this far enough, unless there's some more comments or questions that need to be made. We have to bring this to a close, so let's be brief. I'm just wondering, if we reduce it by $50,000, what is the implication on our taxes, or our rate? Um, do we know that? Not yet. Thank you. I'm going to call the question. I think we pretty much discussed this well enough. Those in favor of the motion, please raise your green card. And then, can I have my tellers or counters please pull out? Do you have an agreed time number? Seven. Do you have an agreed upon number? Eighteen. Those opposed? Do we have an agreed upon number yet? Do we have an agreed upon number? Six. Six. The yeas are 25, the nays are 20, the motion passes. Okay, that's wastewater. The only other area that you may consider is water distribution and treatment. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns about water, clean water? talking about the items? Oh, no. no, we're still in the operating budget. On the operating budget in the area of water distribution and treatment. Carol. I move to accept the budget proposed. Well, well, this section. Yes. yes. And there is a sec there is a second. Is there a further discussion on the matter now that the matter has been brought before the floor? Hearing none, I will call for a vote. A yay vote says, pass it as it stands. A no vote, no vote unfortunately drops it to zero. You need to be aware of that. If they say no, I think that just brings it to another question. Somebody could vote to 
you know, propose instead, you know, a different number. I'm proposing the number as presented. Okay. Does someone wish to amend that? It's been brought forward. Does someone? I see a hand. Nancy, put that. Do I have to stand? Or can everybody hear me? I have a loud vote. I just want to make sure that it's proposed. You're wanting it. Sorry. Yeah. That it will be as presented with the um, um, with the motions attached, the 30th and the 50th. Is that my understanding? Just a section. Okay, I was busy doing stuff over here. I apologize. Attention. Trying. Is there any discussion on the matter? Does anyone wish to further discuss? Yes. I uh, wish to uh, produce by the tree law this uh, article by fifty thousand dollars. By what? By, by fifty thousand dollars. So you're moving to amend the motion. Amend the motion so that I want to reduce it. Okay. Thank you. The motion has been brought forward and now a motion to amend. Is there a second? Is there a second? Yes. Mr. Shorey. Now we are talking about the amendment. We can discuss the amendment now, not the main motion. Is there any questions about the main? Yes, Cynthia. If we are reducing this by $50,000, what services are going to be cut? What testing will not be able to be done? Can the commissioners be taken? Or somebody from the water department? We're still the commissioner. I don't have an answer. All I can say is good luck. Uh, just a comment. All these questions that we're asking is we're all questioning where that money's going that we're proposing. You just throw it a block and like in the water distribution. Spent seventy-three thousand last year. They're proposing one hundred twenty thousand. Where's it going? Where's it going? You know, it's like a block. Just throw one hundred twenty thousand dollars and say we can get some things done with that one. This this evening before the meeting, um, I spoke to Vern and I asked him. I said, Vern, I said, what can I bring for documentation to the meeting? And he said, Well, we have to follow the MS seven seven thirty seven. The MS-737 has horrible format. It doesn't tell you anything. If you look at our budgets, you'll see exactly where the money's going. Everything's there. Everything's transparent. But unfortunately, the way that the meeting is supposed to be held, um, and, and, and Vernon has still clued me in that this is the way it has to be done. We can't follow the budget, our budget that we, that we follow that's our Bible for the year. Um, you know, those numbers tie up. They connect. But it's a bunch of small numbers that add up to a big number that's on the 737. You guys all have the information there, but I was not allowed to speak about it that way. Let, let, me, clarify. let me clarify. This is what we vote on. This is the official budget. You can explain from now until doomsday any little detail that's in here. That's perfectly allowed. The point is, you vote on this, you become informed with this. Does that sort of make sense now? So, you're allowed to look back at this thing and explain why, to be a little didactic about it, why an item went from, let's say, 73,000 to 120,000. You have the detail, explain what went into that difference. On which item went on? Well, I, I just picked it on the illustration, but can it have something specific that you want to explain? Yeah. No, I just said that, that's what I wanted to explain. Those figures, did, you, did we just pick that out of the dock or what? Okay. Do you know the detail that goes into like the increase in administration? You've been here for days. Unless you no. follow. Unless you follow our budget, you'd be here, you'd be here for days. You, follow, you take our budget, it adds up to a total amount. If you look at something you want to reduce or change, you should look at our budget and you'll see 
one list that you're trying to change. But, right, the admin would have to do, I think it's admin, it's superintendent, operator, it's, it's the people that are doing the work of the plant to make the state happy, to give us clean water and to not pollute the, and to not pollute. And it's the 100,000 that you're paying for the superintendent instead of two superintendents that can cost you more. Just to clarify, you're saying that the majority of this increase is wages? Uh, yes. Yeah, oh, Julie, what? That, that was my question on the water side. So, yeah. And, and then, We're in the water side now. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm suicide. So, suicide. So, um, administration means they hired two operators at $50,000 a piece, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Or you, you have two operators who have been We added one operator and we, we added one operator okay. and we had a superintendent that we more than we were paying another So that's 50,000 is it one person is the big right. We've had superintendents that we split. We've had superintendents that we pay as high as eighty something thousand dollars with the you know the medical that they're getting or whatever. Right. This one's getting a hundred, but he's doing that's the water sad. side, the sewer side, and he's the, he's the, 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 the electrician. So it's a lot of money. No, I'm just trying to explain. I think if I understand it correctly, you have you have this superintendent who is salary, and you have a couple of laborers, okay? And you combine the superintendent's and the laborer's salary, and you split them between the divisions where they have to But when it says administration, it's very um, generic, and you don't really you don't realize it's the and there's a, there's a page in a four-page block that says admin, and that helps you to see how much of it is water, how much of it is sewer, um, and what we do is we sit down from time to time and we figure out how much is going to water, how much is going to sewer. And what you call the budget, what's the budget name for administrators like um, you know, the The treasurer, the clerk, the they're in admin. Exclusive. Dennis, keep it brief. We're running out. I just have a question. Dennis say that I want to They pay the uh, superintendent $100,000. They give them something like fifteen or 16000 to truck them out to the gas and following. You're also giving them a pension. That's it. So it's not a question, it's just, it's just yeah. uh, okay. Mr. Moderator, I have a point of order. Yes. You've taken a motion so far, which is approved for a $30,000 cut to one section of the budget. But the water sewer district is one governmental entity. So as you were speaking before about how the commission will have the authority to move money within lines, that would also go between administration, sewer, and That's water so that it's clear to the body that there was a $30,000 cut, which, by the way, hasn't been approved yet because we haven't voted on the, the entire budget with these proposed cuts. But even at that, if the entire budget is approved with this $30,000 or any subsequent cuts, cuts in sewer may be used to fund water and vice versa. And so, you know, while I'm hearing things about salaries, you might end up with a cut in chemical costs and infrastructure to pay for those salaries because we can't control that, but also because it's one governmental entity, and so if money flows freely, you know, freely between those sections. So while we're taking motions on specific, I'm not sure that you know we should be entertaining motions on specific sections rather than a motion to the entire operating budget, as this is a warrant article on the entire warrant on, on the entire operating. Budget. After an extensive discussion with the people at DRA, they said the body has the right to amend any categorical item like administration, water, or wastewater. And likewise, the commissioners will have the authority to rearrange within all the areas. Yes, after at the final say, when all is said and done, you're correct. Your motion, yes, sir. As far as moving money within the province, if RSA is control the money that the water does, the 
We have a motion on the floor. We have to act on the motion on the floor. The motion on the floor is to reduce water distribution treatment by $50,000. On that issue alone, is that the are there motion? any... Is that, yes. a motion? is that a vote on an amendment to the motion? I'm a little confused. The, the, the motion was to bring the matter forward. Okay. It was then amended and seconded by Mr. Misha. Therefore, we are voting on the amendment. <laughs> and then we will go to the main motion. All right. I know, it's Parliament. I said there was a way, and I then I thought, oh, God, don't, let's not get into that um, yet. All right. We're, Voting on the amendment to the main motion. The main motion being to accept, the amendment being to reduce it by $50,000. You are voting on that, the amendment. Those in favor of the motion to reduce by $50,000, raise your green cards so we can get a vote. Motion is 
The Seaford the Village District will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $736,527 for general municipal operations, $736,527 to come from ratepayer income and other revenues. As amended, it is reduced by $80,000. Therefore, it's 736527 less 80,000. I'm not good doing math like six that. 656527. Six Somebody got a calculator? 656527. I'm sorry, say again? 656527. 656527. Seven. 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 It will therefore be $656,527 for the budget, for the operating budget. Now, we voted on each individual one. We still have to vote for the overall as amended. So those in favor of the motion as, are you calling a point of question? I have a question. So this gentleman asked me before how it would work. Okay. Anybody wish to amend the main motion? Yes. I would like to amend the motion to reflect a fully restored budget. In other words, reversing the tax. Yes. You have a second. Second. All right. A motion has been made and seconded to restore all cuts previously voted upon. Is there any further discussion on this matter? Well, I think we can agree. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to ask for engineering to explain why no. there's so much money in the budget. No. No. We've, we've explained it, explained it, explained it. We are. They haven't been able to explain it. Well, they don't know. Look, we're doing this now because we from this file. We had the opportunity to explain this before. They were given opportunity to speak. I'm looking for a sense of body. I'm basically challenging the chair, basically challenging the chair, to have the, which engineering person do you want? Okay. It has been asked to let the engineer from Wright Pierce come forth and explain why the increase. I need a sense of the body. Do you want to move on to voting or do you want to hear from the engineer? All right. Raise your hand if you want the engineer to speak. Raise your hand if you want to get on with the vote. We're going on with the vote. Those in favor of the motion as amended, and you amended it to restore it completely. So we're now voting on an amendment that restores the $80,000 that was previously voted upon. Those in favor of the amendment to restore the $80,000, raise your green card. Do you have a number? Four. Four. Eleven. Eleven. Fifteen. Those opposed to the motion, please raise your cards. Nine. 
17. 26. The motion is defeated. We will go to the main body now. No, there's no more questions. I'd like to make a motion. Go ahead. I'd like to make a motion to restore $45,000 to operating budget. The motion to main second to restore $45,000. Is there any further discussion? None. Those in favor of restoring $45,000, please raise your hands. Six hundred fifty six five twenty seven. Raise your green cards. passes. The budget is now established. The operating budget shall be 656527 Okay. Article 4. Waste system improvements. To see if the district will vote to raise and appropriate $50,000 for system improvements, maintenance and repairs to the wastewater treatment facility and collection system and authorize such sums to come from the fund balance with no amount to be to come from ratepayers. This is money we have set aside. Now, I need to say something here. You can vote yes, you can amend, but please don't this is an editorial comment. If you say no, there is no money allowed. Okay? Because no means no. Which means if they do need, say, $5,000 worth of upgrades or repairs, they can't spend it. No means no. Having given that little editorial comment, who wants to explain this motion? You want to put on this article? Yes? Move to open up for discussion. Okay. Submitted. Second. Second. Dennis? All right, now open the discussion. Fine. Let me join in. I have a question. What are we talking about for the repairs of the uh, collection system? What do you Currently, we have three pumps in the basement that 
are all different, uh, require all different parts and all different technical experience to do any repairs on. Um, we're, we're operating um, in a tough spot right now. We've got one pump ready to fail. Um, we've got another pump that is not far behind. Um, and to do the repairs on those pumps alone, we're looking at anywhere from fifteen to three thousand or fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars just for repair. Uh, we've got a very uh, very good offer uh, in terms of pricing for replacement pumps so we could get the three consistent pumps in the basement that would allow us to operate uh, and operate in a, in a way that would suit the needs of this the facility. Um, also down there we, we are in dire need of Flow meters. We currently got three flow meters. Um, the flow meters are instrumental in uh, the process operating properly. Currently, <coughs> currently we've identified that all the flow meters are non. They cannot be calibrated at this point. They're as close as we can get them, uh, and we've uh, created a spreadsheet with a multiplier in it so we can identify the true gallons that have run through those flow meters. That's how we're able to operate right now, which obviously is an ideal. Uh, it's, it's a guesstimate at best. Uh, there's been a lot of issues with maintaining the wastewater treatment facility. Um, I will caution you that it is a complex system to run. It's not a simple system to run. Um, and the way we're operating makes it even more complex. It makes it more challenging to maintain uh, proper discharge or, or good discharge of water. Um, the other part would be uh, integrating all of those parts, all of that equipment into our SCADA system so that it can operate in an automated fashion. So that sums up most of it. Uh, the installation would be done in-house by myself uh, and our part-time mechanic. So we, uh, we were able to keep the price down dramatically for an overhaul of this magnitude. Um, and and it, it would be a shame to lose it because we're going to run into issues very quickly if you don't have an upgrade in that basement. Major safety issues, and, and furthermore, I mean, we're, we're, it's slipping away from us as we speak. So the multiplier that's been put in place about 12 months ago is showing to slip, so it's going to have to be recalculated um, to see where we're really at. But um, this is all stuff we've discussed. I could stay here all night and explain it, but that's where the line is going. Just one reason. I asked about the collection system from the facility. Oh, this is as worded. Okay, is there any money being spent on the collection system? That was me show. Or is it just the mm -hmm. fill plant? I think it's that's all that's all that's all the pump Okay, so none of it is. Is it the collection system? Such a thing, the pipes, and everything else in the streets. Yeah, is it? That's it. There's maintenance for that in the budget. Yes, but this warrant article oh, does wait. not it's touch right. the collection system. It says collection system, system this is not required last This is not, this warrant article is the budget. It's a facility of the plant. Okay. Thank you. They have no money. I'm at the plant. Okay, so there's no money for the collection system. No. Under this warrant out of you're not doing anything for the question system. Correct. Correct. Then maybe we should pay the out of the report that's actually being said. I I think if, if that if, that's a minor clerical issue at this point. All right. Can we find out how much is currently in the fund balance? How much will we drawing? Three hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars is in the fund balance. Okay. But you can't spend all of that. And is there a hope to put more in it at the end of the year? Can you what? Is there a hope that we'll have money to put into it at the end of the year? Well, budgets are zero base basis. It's like this is what we're going to spend and this is what we're going to take in and wash us out to nothing. Sure. That one I know. Are you ready for the question? Article 4, wastewater system improvements, which is basically a sewer plant. Those in favor? 
Raise your cards. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 